What's up, everybody? Back at it today. Heading back to work. Uh, got a pretty exciting night tonight. I think we're going to calibrate the, the new yield monitor, which would be pretty cool. So hopefully that goes well. We got to move everything from Max over to our field by Walmart. And then uh, the guy is supposed to meet us with his way wagon at, at uh, 4. So yeah, that'll be awesome. Be be cool to see what we're actually yielding. I don't trust the one that we used to have in the combine, so yeah. We'll see you after work. Dad took that first load down and uh, now he's ripping at max so he's gonna rip that and we're gonna start moving everything to Walmart and then our uh, one of our seed guys is coming to help us calibrate the combine at four so got a little time to get moved over so let's get to work well dad's got everything ripped well at least this field There he is. Going pretty fast for dad. Yeah, we're gonna go work on taking the head off and get ready to move. And he's gonna come help us once he finishes that field. Well, we're rolling. Doing pretty good. This is showing 65. I'm oh, sorry right now. I'm happy with that. So I did the calibration, but I didn't film anything because I was working with the guy that's not part of our farm. I always feel weird filming in front of other people, but it wasn't too difficult. Basically, I had to calibrate on the iPad and then picked, I picked like 2,000 pounds each time. Then we'd dump in his way wagon. He'd give me the amount and I'd put it in at the end and hit apply. We did that three times. Oh, got pile up. Quit talking. Yeah, basically got the weight, put it in, hit apply. We did that three times. 
And then we did one bigger test where we uh, where we did like 5,000 pounds, and it was within 50 pounds, so pretty happy with that. I'd say that's close enough for me. Um, yeah, that was super easy. So I think it should be working good now. Hopefully you can see that. These are pretty good beans. Can't wait to get home and see what we got on the irrigated farm at home. Corey out here ripping for us. Be the first time we ever ripped this field. It was really hard to do one handed. Both Dan and Corey said they can't get the air to work in that tractor again. We have non-stop problems with air conditioning. Seems like it shouldn't be that big a deal, but man it is. These calves with all this glass and the sun coming through there, it'll burn you up in there. So, have to figure it out. Have to bring the kid out and check it, but I don't know. We just always have problems with air conditioners. All right, I'm gonna quit talking, keep rolling. Got a couple hours till the boys go to sleep, so. I'd like to get home and see them before they go to sleep tonight. I stayed out later last night, didn't get to see them. And I don't like doing that more than one night in a row. So. All right, talk to you a little later. Well, I plugged it. Ran the reverser without picking up the reel, so I tore up sheet metal down there on the head. So I think we're done for tonight. Probably have to, uh, well, I'm gonna dump this and then go down there and take that piece off and see if I can straighten it out in the shop. Put it back on tomorrow. That sucks, but whatever. Go home early tonight, I guess. Hit it hard again tomorrow. All right, so we got that fixed. Didn't have to take it back to the shop. We just took it off and got a block out of the weight bucket of the tractor and just beat the hell out of it with a hammer. Got her flattened back out and put it back on. So at least we don't gotta mess with that tomorrow. That's nice, one less thing to worry about tomorrow. Now I can get off work and just go start picking more. Or dad might try and pick during the day. We'll see. At least we don't have to mess with it tomorrow. Those beans are going good. Can't wait to get home and see what's there, but pretty happy with these. I'd say they're going 55, 60 still, so we'll see. Might even be a little better than that. But all right, signing off for the day. Taking the truck home so Dad can dump it in the morning and go home and see the boys before they go to sleep. See you later. All right, so checking out the yield monitor here, or our yield mapping. Now that I'm at home, this is pretty cool. This is the field that we were just in. This is Walmart's, and it shows that our. Uh, We've harvested 13 acres so far on that farm. 
Average is 56.3. And total yield was 733. And the total acres all together is 34. So that's cool. Um, and then it kind of, you can see around the outside, this was super weedy. So you can see that it's red, which is down here. 49 for the red and 66 and bigger for the for the green so get out here in the middle of the field getting a lot more yellow and green so you're looking at mid mid 60s out there and then i checked out max too and like our the best field down here averaged about 58. This one was 57. This is about 55. This is about 55. This one was 20. Just because this, this field's kind of a pain because it's so small. So all we harvested was this little area right here. This was all just weeds and weeds. But that is really cool. Like I really like this. Some cool technology, uh, excited about it. It'll give us a chance to look and see where we're hurting and where things are going good and we can kind of check out why. Like you can kind of tell right here, that's red because it's right up against the tree line. And right here is right up against the tree line. It's kind of a higher area where there's sand and uh, I'm not real sure why that's red. That's a pretty good area. But, yeah, it's just really cool. Same thing with Walmart. So it's, you can see kind of where your best spots are and your, your worst spots are. Down in the middle of the field, this is really nice. I think it actually is going to get better back through here. But, but you can see right around the edge. There's a lot of weeds and and cover and as I said, it just wasn't good beans there. But I bet you all right through here, all in the middle will be either yellow or green. So I'd say 60 to 70 through the middle there. So so I'm gonna give you a check, let you see what it does. Pretty happy with it so far. It's pretty cool. It's a lot better than what we had. And uh, I can print all these out and give them to our crop insurance guy and he can use that data for uh, our yield averages and everything, so. All right, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's time to relax a little bit. See you later.